This is floor one. We are going to be doing Bonzo. Yes, it's just regular floor one. We're not doing master mode yet. We aren't qualified to do that. But in floor one, it's just basically a simple floor, you know, the first floor of the catacombs. And where I mean to get the diamond head. Yeah, this video is recorded ages ago. We're now already even finished with floor three. Like, we're much ahead of this, right? Yeah, I forgot this was in my folder, so we need to get rid of it before it comes too late. I still remember at the beginning of the year, I still had like a video which has me uploaded for like three months or something like that. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Just like everything all the time. I'm not going to be very strict with you guys, but this is what you guys are supposed to do, okay? Okay, everyone, so this is going to be Hypixel Skyblock Dungeons Floor 1. You might be wondering, why are we doing Floor 1? You should have been at Floor 6. You're a level 24. You can obviously see there. But no, we're going to be doing F1. And this is a tutorial. You see, my channel is not here just to do gameplays. This is, oh yeah, just speaking of tutorials, this is our dungeon episode. This is our dungeon episode 18, I think. Somewhere around there. So, basically we'll be doing floor ones. And this is a tutorial. So basically, we gotta go and, you gotta go and open all dungeon, you know, all, all doors and things like that. You're gonna open the door over there, so you gotta go all the way to the blood. Your starting point is the green, the red is the uh, is the blood. If you see a black line, that means it must be a wither door. A wither door requires uh, requires a key with a key, which can be obtained by killing mini bosses and and mobs for some rooms, mainly mini bosses for the bigger ones. And to pass the blood, you must go and kill all the mobs without dying. If you die, that's okay. But if everyone dies at once, then the run is over. Again, the dungeon score is not what you need to be worrying right now. We'll be doing a separate, um, we'll be doing more tutorials on how to do dungeons. But at this point, this is a floor one uh, tutorial. There are many weapons that you can get. However, this is this video is not for you to choose the weapons that you want. We're not doing those types of ranking videos, which you know we choose and then make decisions. We're not doing that for you today, but still, okay, we're, we're gonna teach you how to play the game correctly. Remember, this is speed runs. So these are speed runs. If you want to do S runs, you must go and get the secrets. Secrets are basically chests or uh, drops that you have to find. They're usually hidden in a location. Again, this is not a. This is not a. This is not for. A, to, this video is not for us to you know search over the entire map just to get the secrets, because I don't feel like that's uh, that's just that's supposed to be the thing anyway. I will give you a link though, but I won't be giving you a video. Anyway, if you want to find the secrets, you must go into the corner, like into like somewhere or uh, somewhere hidden. It could be anywhere. Anyway, you go straight to the boss uh, by uh, through the portal. So basically, you have to begin at the green and you end at the red. After killing the watcher, uh, sorry, after killing all the mobs from the watcher, then you should be good to go. And then after entering the portal, you are ended up here. Floor 1 boss is Bonzo. At this point, I can one-shot them. Or almost sometimes. Not all, not all the time. But most of the time. At this point, Derpy is not the mirror, so there's no need to worry about double healths. And the second phase, it shoots balloons. If you go, if you go like, if you go like up here, just a few blocks above ground, Bonzo will shoot balloons. Okay, so now this is party selection everyone so you gotta be careful you gotta be careful in selecting the party So you gotta go you gotta know which one to go They sometimes put requirements in there where you, you have to select carefully though It's best to go with someone good like a pro Okay, we need to restart this well, but anyway If it does happen this is this does often often happen though and don't worry, don't stress out. It's just basically a bug. A bug. Join something like the, these parties, and then you can, you're good to go. So, this is the dungeon run continue. This is the starting point where you know after entering your party and after the leader whoops you, you go around here. You can get here. So this is basically our tutorial on how to do dungeons. Make sure to like that, like and subscribe. So we can make uh, tutorials on higher floors. Again, we must. This is a rush uh, tutorial. Basically, we're not doing S plus over here. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna do this quick because we only have two people here, including myself. 
And of course my fans if you want to be inclusive here. Make sure to watch out for traps everyone. I I shouldn't it shouldn't a trap shouldn't be a problem for me, but it may be a problem for you guys. If you step in the traps, you usually will get uh usually well there are three types of traps, first of all. The flamethrower, the arrow trap, and the tripwire trap. Either one of them can damage you and they do substantial amounts of damage. Make sure to watch out for them so you don't you don't get hurt. This is a mini boss. There are lots of entrance and angry archaeologists on floor 1s and 2s. On higher floors, there may be more mini-bosses. At this point, we're not going to be discussing the higher floors. They will be included on the higher floors. So basically, angry archaeologists and lost adventurer will be the ones you should be looking out for, basically. Either way, let's go. Okay, one person should be focusing on the blood, while someone else should be out of there. You need to make sure that you don't die. If you die, then you better call your friend to come to go there just to support you. Once you do that, you better fight some other places, you know, here and there. Better go and uh, go to some other places and play around basically there. You know, you can discover there are a wide variety of rooms that you can that you can go to. And they do get shuffled every time you do a dungeon run, so, so don't worry about dupes and things like that. All dungeon, all dungeon rooms are different on each floor, and there are new dungeon rooms that are going to be coming into the game soon. Like, I'm being serious. Updates. That's what I mean. Anyway, you have a wide variety of weapons and armor as well. When you, if you're a beginner, it's best to it best it's best to go with someone else rather than soloing the floor, because you do need a high cata level. Not like it's not a requirement, but it's a recommendation for a higher higher cata level in order for you to solo specific floors. For floor one, it took me until I'm a cata 25 until well cata 20 actually. So when I was a cata 20, I was able to solo floor one completely. Floor two. I'll mention that later on, alright? When I do a tutorial on floor 2, usually I'll do that. Okay, these usually get dropped. So armor and weapons usually drop from mobs. They often do, actually, to be honest. So they do drop from mobs. And they are saleable, but I recommend you to auction that. It's auctionable as well. Anyway, this will finish up the video for today. Thank you for watching. See you guys again next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. Please message me or email me if you guys have any con concerns or queries at GamerLifeHacks9111 at gmail.com. Put that on the screen, I'll repeat again. GamerLifeHacks9111 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, see you guys again next time.